really excited. I think it's a great balance of newcomers and returners. Um, obviously, we have a, a lot of new faces, um, not only on the team with the girls. We have six newcomers, but we also have two new staff members as well with Courtney and Whitney. So it's an exciting, you know, a ex very exciting time. And I think this summer we had a really great summer. I think the newcomers picked up on things really, really quickly. And we got through a lot of stuff. Raven gives us some, some much needed depth. I think we have, um, you know, some really good size this year, but she really just gives us that big presence down on the block. Um, Ashley is, is a great compliment to Raven. She's more of a face-up post, can step out, is a, honestly a tremendous passer. And that's the one thing that I really, really liked about her recruiting her was just her ability to step out, pass, and make plays. Um, Allie and Sam are bigger guards on the wing. We kind of need more size on the perimeter. Um, both very good defenders, very athletic and kind of gritty, um, and, and both very good shooters. So that's, that's much needed as well. Um, on the perimeter, just having another ball handler, another point guard uh, in, with Brittany, and then with Kat, just being a local New Hampshire kid. Um, and she kind of gives us something different too, with a post player that can step out and shoot the three. So we're really, really excited about everybody. As long as our girls can continue to stay healthy this year, um, you know, I'm really excited about what we have back. Uh, we talked about our newcomers and the energy and, and new faces that we, that we have, but you talk about the people that we have back, um, you know, it's really, really exciting. I think with Corinne coming back, I mean, she's just done, I can't talk about what an incredible job she's done rehabbing, coming back in better shape than she was, um, you know, when she was an all-conference player, her, her one year that she played for us. And then obviously Elizabeth has just improved every single year. I've never coached a player or even played with a player that's really taken just such a, a huge step every single year. And, and, and this year she's, she's, she's continues to impress me just with her ability to step out, play inside, and she's just a, touch, a really tough matchup. And then our, our sophomore class, Eliza and Carly, um, obviously had to play a lot of minutes with injuries last year. Um, so they, you know, we're really going to look, look at them not as sophomores anymore. You know, they, they are sophomores, but they're going to have to really play like upperclassmen. Uh, and then Kristen Anderson we have back, who's, who's our best shooter. So with that group of players, along with a lot of really great role players um, and our newcomers, it's going to be a really exciting year. You know, I'm really proud of, of what we've done against, you know, higher level BCS schools. Um, we've always performed pretty well, um, and the girls are really up for that challenge, so that'll be exciting. Um, and then the rest of the teams that we're playing, um, you mentioned Penn. I mean, they had a tremendous year last year. Bryant, Central Connecticut, I mean, they were all teams that won, you know, close to 20, if not over 20 um, games. Siena made it to the WBI postseason, um, beating Xavier. Uh, to get to their championship game. So we, we've added some teams, I think, um, that are going to be really tough games, but I, but I really feel that with the group that we have, the, the schedule is probably the most challenging that it's really been since I've been here, and, and I'm really excited uh, to see how they'll respond to that. You know, but I really feel that this year, top to bottom, I mean, it's going to be a really interesting year and a really competitive year. Um, you look at some teams that maybe the last year or two have been rebuilding and have been at the bottom of the league, um, like a UMBC has done a really good job of recruiting and bringing in some players that have helped them, you know, right away. And I really think UMBC will be the team um, that really surprises a lot of people this year. Um, you know, Stony Brook's always tough. Hartford's always tough. Um, they've lost a lot of players. Um, and then Vermont is a really young team, and they're obviously a dangerous team. They got us last year. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be an exciting year. Uh, hopefully we'll find a way to stay in the mix in that, you know, in the top of the league. And, you know, obviously anything can happen towards the end, but we just have to worry about the preseason and make sure we get our confidence up so that we feel good going into the America East play.